Hey everyone, welcome back to another Gut Pack Joyride video for the new game. Uh, this is the deluxe version, so this is going to be anything that came in the deluxe box from the Kickstarter, uh, which includes the vehicle expansion, the uh, Lucky Berry expansion, the and the deluxe stuff, as well as I also have the party expansion, which was a separate thing. Um, I'm not sure how much of this content of this I'm going to be showing today will be available in retail. I believe the deluxe content was just a Kickstarter exclusive, as well as the party expansion, which adds currently adds you can play five or six players. That stuff was also. Um, Kickstarter exclusive, so I'm not sure if the vehicle or Lucky Berry expansions will come out. I kind of hope they do. If the game becomes popping up and they do release them, because they're really cool additions for something that's also staple in the game. Um, like I showed in the check out the other two videos I did make, there's one that explains how to play the game, and another one that goes through all the content for the first game, or the first uh, base set. Um, so I'm not going to really go over too much of that, but I just want to kind of show off the book. I do love that they show what all the cards are, explain it. They're really good designed uh, instructions. So first thing I'm going to do is look over the vehicle expansion. So in the vehicle expansion, let me zoom up on this a bit. You're going to get four more sector tiles that have the vehicle symbol. These are all Sector 2, so they will replace the Sector 2s. So if you're going to use these, you have to place them in place of Sector 2. Uh, so, another cool thing with the duck dispenser, you get orange tiles instead of yellow. They all work the same. You can mix and match them if you'd like, um, but they made them different, so if you want to separate them out. But basically, if I am playing and my tile goes over this, I get to use one of the vehicle cards that was uh, already set aside. So at the beginning of the game, if you're using the vehicles, you set aside the special vehicle tiles and then you can use them. Um, we'll go over those in a minute. I'm just going to go through the tiles quick though. So each one's still going to have your five coins, your scientists, but it's also going to add that vehicle icon in there. And it's not always in the same spot. But it is generally always towards the middle. And I would say if you're going to be fair, is if you're using the vehicle expansion, all four players get a vehicle expansion. Um, it wouldn't be fair to only give some people them. So before we explain the vehicles, or show them off, because they're really cool, we got two more gadgets that came with it. We have free ride uh, before a run starts. Grab an extra vehicle so you can have more than one vehicle. So uh, beginning of round, you can have, you get this vehicle, you'll have it set for the next round. And then the next round, you can collect a couple of them. Um, X-ray specs uh, for each star, for each non-empty block, you cover with a vehicle. So it'd be like if you cover a zapper or a coin, as long as it's on an empty spot. Because uh, vehicles can run through anything. And you also get two exclusive missions, and they're going to have the little expansion icon on there. So ride over a scientist. And go through an obstacle with a vehicle. And then you're going to get cool little vehicle cards. Badass Hog. Mr. Cuddles. Little Stomper. Crazy Freaking Teleporter. Magnet Man. Prophet Bird. Soy of Awesome. Wave Rider. And Sam. And again, some of these might be Kickstarter exclusive versions. So even if they release a vehicle expansion, they might not release all of these characters, or vehicles. Um, I don't remember the exact breakdown of everything, but since I don't know what's coming when, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now we get to look at the cool tiles. I'm going to zoom in on these guys, because they're pretty neat. So there's your Slay of Awesome. 
from Skyscale Ranger. And otherwise, it just so if I have this card, if I if I've gotten the vehicle symbol here, and I have played him, and I've got this, I can play this at any time. So I can just play it just like a regular tile. But the way they kind of break the game versus like how it normally is, is you can play these in any direction. So I don't have to just play my my hor or my sway left and right. I can play it up and down. I can play it this way. Um, there's only really two directions you can go with the four one because you can't play stuff diagonal. Um, the vehicles also have this special ability that lets them collect any coins they're near. So I wouldn't have to put him here. I could put him here and I'd still get these two coins. Um, so that's pretty neat there. So, yeah, like, vehicles can run over obstacles. Um, that's fine. Basically, because you play them once and they're gone. So, it's, whether you play it here, you're done with them, or you play it here, you're done with them for this round. So, it doesn't matter. You just don't lose points for running them over like you would in a normal game. So, that's the vehicle. So, we're also going to have... Let me zoom back up a bit so you can get a little bit better detail. Uh, Magnet Man. So he's got your up and down, got your wave rider, again you can play him like dagger, play him like that, doesn't matter. Your profit bird, just a square tile, which this one's kind, kind of unique are these L, long L shaped ones, as well as these because there are no L, there are no straight ones, just 100% straight ones. You can get the uh, get this one with the extra little attachment, but not just a hundred percent straight. But there are no square tiles anywhere else, so that makes this one very unique. You get the bag is hog again, which makes this one a little bit different. It's because they do have ones with the L shape, but this one is smaller. Um, which you'd be like, well, isn't that it takes you a little bit more? Maneuverability. The little stopper, who's also a square. You got like a neat little coating on there. Mr. Cuddles. And then the final one. Oh, we got sorry, crazy freaking teleporter. There are no uh, P-shaped ones either. So again, this might be like different tiles they might create like in later games. And then the final one you're going to get is Sam. Uh, so if you're familiar with the game, this is, you collect so many tokens, you get this big giant one that can just run through anything. Um, this is still only good for one, uh, one time use, but he's a two tile. So if you pick this vehicle, you get both tiles. They have to be together like this, but then you can rotate them any direction you want. Uh, so that covers a quite a bigger room and they collect all the coins they land on they collect any ones are near and they can run over multiple hazards uh so that's all of the different vehicle expansion stuff so the next expansion is the lucky berry expansion and then this one has more tiles. So these ones take place for Sector 3. Um, and what's new about these are the uh, tokens. The spin tokens. So if you play the game, when you get to the end of these tokens, you just spin a roulette wheel, which can either get you extra items or extra coins. Um, or nothing, possibly. So if you land on one of these, each one you land on lets you roll the spin dice once for multiple tokens. Again, these are all double-sided. I like how they have the little path showing where it's going just like it would be in the game.
feel like where you have in the base game, you can play sections one and four can be hard mode. I would say the vehicle expansion and spin token to an extent are almost easy mode because, or an easier mode because you still have to go through those sections, but you also get bonuses for going, potentially get a bonus for going through them. So then, what will happen is if you land on one of them, you get to roll this die. So you get one coin, two coins, three stars, two stars, uh, nothing, or you can get a gadget. So that's kind of me. Just roll the dice. So if I rolled the die, I would have gotten two two extra coins this turn. Two extra coins. So how terrible at rolling I am. I would have just gotten me straight up two stars. So that's what that does. Um, and then you are also going to get two gadgets, the magnetic tokens. So you collect tokens you are near miss, and they're going to have their little expansion symbol there. The token gift, for each spin token you collect, it gives you an additional uh, spin token die roll. So that one would definitely be nice if you're playing those. And the mission is collect two spin tokens. So yeah, you're only going to add these ones in if you're using the spin tokens. The same thing with the vehicle. Only add the vehicle cards in if you're playing with the vehicles. Um, but that's what's nice about it. Or, or I mean... If you're not using that, here's some more of the orange tiles. They're all the same as the yellow ones from the base set. Uh, just they're orange. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look over quick is the stuff from the deluxe. Uh, this is stuff from either the deluxe set exclusive or the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Um, so you have some more map tiles. This is so you can add a sixth player. So it's just some more level one sections. So you only get two more tiles. I mean, each other player can have a tile. And then these ones actually also have the vehicle expansion on them. If you're going to add a sixth player, you're going to basically have to use your vehicle. This is what they're saying. And the same thing with the tokens. And you wouldn't have to. You could just randomly draw them and some people get tokens and that, some don't. I mean, if you've played the game, you don't always get the vehicles every time when you hit a certain point. And it would have been kind of nicer if they were giving you two extra without... Just that way you'd have the option, but I think that by the time you're playing with six players, it's probably nicer to have all them extra bonuses and stuff. We're going to go through a bunch of the cards here. So we have a Twister Jetpack. These are the gadgets. You can reorder sectors you haven't visited yet. So that means if you're in sector one or two, um, let's say you're in sector two, you could take three and four and you could swap them around because maybe you're like, oh, I, that one looks better, that one has this. Um, or maybe if you're in sector one, you want to get your tokens before your gadget, you can swap two and three around. Uh, so it's just an interesting thing to be able to do. But it's also blue because it's for the more experienced player. Uh, the do-it-yourself jetpack, reveal another mission card, but only you can use that one. The steam-powered jetpack, you gain one star for each square you make. Um, so, example. It'd be if I, play, if I ended up playing this on one of the board, I have a square there, I could gain one star. But I don't gain it for this square and this square, it just counts as one of the square. So if I wanted to get it a second time, if I did something like that, I could get it for this square and this square. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Or, playing the vehicles, you drop one of these guys. Um, and then, Rainbow Jetpack. Plus two stars for each mission you completed. And 
then we have a couple more missions. Uh, collect four coin groups, pairs. Um, so during hard mode, you wouldn't be able to do that. Here you would because they have two pair, two pair. But if you play the hard mode where they're all spread out, you wouldn't be able to collect those. Uh, place four tiles of different shapes one after another. So this is, might be one you'd have to plan a little bit. Uh, place three tiles of the same shape one right after another. So this is playing three of the same, and that one's playing four different ones. And touch the roof and the floor in the same column. So a column. I don't think this shape is going to work for me. This would be that. So I have a straight column up and down and touch the top and the bottom. You got two coins out of it too. It's not bad. Alright. So in the last couple of things I have to go through here is the party expansion cards. So these ones came with the little berry party expansion. So these ones were, again, these currently are... Oops, our only Kickstarter exclusive was the party expansion. Sorry for the jumble there. I knocked my camera over. Um, so we're going to go through these guys. Because that's including the extra tiles or like that. Um, for each row you visited in all sectors you completed. So if in a sector you hit all every single row. Um... For each row you visited in all sectors you completed. Okay. The laser jetpacks. This set gave us a lot more of the jetpacks, which are famous in the game. Three stars for each row you omitted in all sectors. So if you went through and you didn't touch any rows, you gained, no, gained some stars. The water jetpack. One star for each zapper you didn't touch in sectors you completed. And I believe touching includes near missing, so you have to completely not even go near it. Uh, again, the instruction manual does go through all these cards and explain a little bit more in a little bit more detail if you need to. So that is what is definitely nice about it. So you have to try and just interpret it. Uh, one start each time your place tile is the same as your previous tile. The leaf blower jetpack. You may slide up or down section sectors you haven't visited yet so that one's actually kind of neat and i'm just going to use a three and a four here so with that one normally all the sectors have to be like this touching because it completes the image so what that one lets you do is you can actually do this so that way maybe if you're stuck way up here on the top you can try oh i can come out there instead or if you want to move it to the bottom. But they still have to touch like that. But then the next one. Like you did this on like 2 and 3. Then the next one would still have to connect. Unless you move that one. Because you haven't visited yet. Um, and then. The very last one. Is. Uh, 2 star for each pair of non-consecutive tiles. That are adjacent. So if you have more than one next to each other. That are different. You gain extra stars. And then the very last card we have is the Kickstarter stretch goal that you, we got from uh, enough people liking the game. Uh, the biplane jetpack. Two stars for each sector in which you touch the floor and the roof. Alright. So the last couple of things to show off is there is a solo puzzle book here. So basically how this works is you have two tiles, it's going to set up a puzzle for you. It's going to say you take this tile and this tile, it's going to say what numbers they are. It tells you where to place them. Um, some of the earlier ones are going to tell you where to have a starting and ending tile, some of the later ones might not. Uh, difficulty, how many points it's worth, if you have a special mission card or whatever, and which tiles it's in. Basically what you have to do is try and figure out using these specific five tiles, how to get get these together. 
so actually French instructions which don't help us. So for example, here is puzzle two. You have to figure out with these five tiles and these starting tiles are already out, how to get to the end without running into anything. This one here, you get that, and there's a starting and ending. And then on the back side of them, they show the actual solutions on how to do this. And there are 50 of these throughout there. And some of them, like this one, uh, level 3 difficulty, but you gain 12 points. Um, but you get some different tokens. So you want to try, and, I'm sure it's probably trying to get the highest score figuring out those. There's some other missions. You get a vehicle. So it works with the vehicle expansions and the token expansion. You get the sleigh. You get the biplane, which is a gang of that set. So it's helpful that it's in here. So yeah, it's kind of a neat thing to do if you're only playing, you know, if you don't have a bunch of people, you can just kind of play. Here's some ultra difficulties. So you can see they're using like the hard modes. Um, one other thing I got that came with the expansion, or the, the Kickstarter you could buy, so I don't know if they're going to release this in retail, but this is a grippy mat. So I place this down, it doesn't move, which is nice, and I can place my tiles on there, and they don't slide around either. So I did buy these, because I figured this is a game where you're trying to like, you know, quickly throw down your tile. Like, the last thing you want to do is, you know, try and throw it down. Oh, I, I bumped it. My tile moved. So I thought this would actually be a really nice idea. And it worked out really well. It has a neat little border. So you should be able to play all four tiles all the way along it. So that's a pretty cool thing that I got. I bought four of them. So if I have a five, fifth or sixth player, they're kind of stuck on their own. Um, but maybe they'll release them in retail later on. And the last thing I wanted to show off was just the deluxe box. So, it's got room for all the cards in here. Um, then it also has room for all the tiles. It's got a stack in there. So just, yeah, it's a nice collector's or, uh, box. You can stack all your cards in there. Throw your store pad in there, and then it came with a nice cover they added because the it was taking a while longer to get it produced. So that way, now even if, with this on there, my tiles aren't going to fall out and spread all over in the box. That's really awesome. Um, so hey, thanks everyone. It's a little bit longer video, but it's Jet Pack Joyride Deluxe Edition. Um, I kind of hope they keep making some more like expansions add some different the jet packs maybe some more missions uh some different tiles um even alternate artwork cards i'd be happy with alternate tiles for some of the holiday themed ones uh but yeah hope you guys like it check out the other two videos if you haven't thanks bye